Hello everyone, I'm Yuki Washington. A citywide curfew is once again in effect until 6 a.m. All businesses in Philadelphia have been ordered to shut down. SEPTA has stopped all service until tomorrow morning. So how did we get here? It's been a second straight day of destruction after a peaceful protest following the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis took a violent turn. Officers have been injured, property destroyed, and livelihoods shattered. The National Guard has been called in to help. Joe Holden has more on the state of the city and what's being done to restore order. Day two of violence, chaos, and disorder on Philadelphia streets, taxing the city's police force. High-ranking department sources tell CBS3 in Kensington and North Philadelphia, looters overpowered law enforcement's ability to respond. The city in a Sunday evening news conference confirmed officers were outnumbered. Our officers are going to take in mind their own personal safety in order to respond to, respond to these issues. Um, obviously, they put their lives on the line every day, um, but they're going to do it in a smart way. Uh, so by no means uh, were, were they, uh, was enforcement lack lacks last night. Uh, it was really a matter of manpower. More looting into the night despite an imposed 6 p.m. curfew. Police eventually got the upper hand along business corridors near Temple Hospital. Germantown Avenue storefronts were largely defenseless against earlier mobs of people. We couldn't take every every officer out of every district in the city and send them to a store that's being looted without losing the district of the neighborhood. So it's 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 a Hobson's choice. The National Guard is now expected as Philadelphia is in critical condition. The number of officers injured is on the rise. A police spokesperson said late Sunday night they were working to identify those arrested and reveal where they're from. Further authorization to release that information would have to come from the district attorney's office, he said. Justice. Outside police headquarters earlier, a calmer show of disagreement. People chanted the name George Floyd and I can't breathe, a phrase that has suddenly become a rally cry of those looking for substantive dialogue with leaders. People are angry. You know, people are angry with the racial discrimination going on in this country. It's been going on a long time. I mean, it happens in the workplace. It happens with neighbors. It happens when you walk in the store and people are angry and we're out here protesting. Joe Holden reporting.